good morning, everyone. I'm Mr. Marshall from Marshall Energy, and we are here in the United Kingdom with the two megawatt mobile power station. It is 100% operational at this present time. We are working with the power companies here uh, to be able to get it on the grid within the next three to 10 business days. Once it is, we'll be showing it on the grid and we'll be filming it on the installation of the power grid. The mobile station, as I've said, is 100% complete operational. Uh, she is uh, ready to produce uh, the energy, and this is enough energy for uh, 28,000 homes at one time. And it's also enough energy to be able to handle the businesses in the local area where we're going to go ahead and supply the power. We're going to walk inside, and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the mobile station, and uh, that way you'll understand the complete operations of the mobile station. We also have a complete fire suppression system, a complete security system that monitors the outside inside, which I'll show you on the inside. And we also have a, 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 the red light that indicates that the fire suppression system is activated in case there is a problem on the inside. Come on inside with me and we'll go ahead and show you the mobile power station. Now, inside the mobile power station, this is a complete self-contained unit. This mobile power station has its own fire suppression system, and this fire suppression system is the most modern technology that's available. Uh, the gas that's in it, and normal gases, will depissitate in the atmosphere anywhere from two to seven years. This fire suppression system, if it's ever activated, will depissitate the gases that suffocates the fire on the inside, if there ever is one, will depissitate within five business days. We also have, as I said, the complete monitoring system, and the monitoring system is for daylight, high resolution cameras, and nighttime cameras, so that way at any given time on my smartphone or the security for the corporation can monitor every mobile power station that is in operations. Also, we have a complete uh, system that is set up for monitoring of the energy output, the energy input, so that way we'll know exactly how much consumption of the fuel, how much energy is being put out, and then this way we will be able to have the exact numbers and figures for the corporation. We are just an energy producer. We do not need to supply that information to people because the mobile power stations are not for sale. Also, we have uh, worked with a corporation where we have our electric drive motor and our electric drive motor you know, we have increased the horsepower in the torque off of it from the standardization from them so that way we're able to be even more efficient than what we were in the original patent that was issued in 19 uh, or 2009 also We've improved in here where we used to have a gear reduction system. Now we have an inertia system. This inertia system increases the horsepower by a factor of 12. So let's say if we, if we had a total of 10 horsepower, this will increase that 10 horsepower up to 120 horsepower. And the mobile station, when it is shut down, we do not put on this unit because we want to go ahead and make sure that people understand, we do not put a braking system on this unit. And when it's completely shut down and it's all off, the inertia system takes almost five minutes to come to a complete dead stop. Most electrical motors, when they get shut off, they go off within a matter of seconds. This does not. Also, the two megawatts, and this is 2.1 megawatt, which is available, primary energy. This two megawatt uh, generator is connected directly to our external bus, and this is the external bus that will be going directly out to the grid. We also have a complete um, circulation system to be able to keep the ambient temperature anywhere from 18 to 20 degrees Celsius inside the mobile station during operations. And we've turned and we've been able to operate the mobile station for uh, 72 hours non-stop at load on a test and what we've done is we found out that the ambient temperature has been running between 20 and 26 degrees so it is perfect for the mobile station now i'm going to take you into the biofuel room and the biofuel room is just that 
It is a smaller capacity generating system that runs on biofuel. At this, at this very moment, we have, we'll have a, a tank brought outside because we're only using about 12 liters per hour to be able to run this system. And at this present time, the internal tank is a diesel tank, not a biofuel tank. We're gonna be getting an outside biofuel tank that will be outside to be able to have the heater inside of it to be able to keep the mobile station at its uh, operational temperature so it is a, as in diesel. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Now it will get loud and I'm not gonna be talking during the course of this, but we're gonna turn on the, the, the biofuel system, get that up to power. Once that's up to power, then we'll go ahead and have the cameras focused on the generator and then you'll see the generator going up and then after we get that going up, we'll step back outside and give you a few more little highlights. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start the mobile station. It is